Ahoy, how are we doing, and welcome back to Myth Busting Monthly, the series where you guys give me myths and I test them in the attempt to see what is and what is not possible inside the Sea of Thieves world. We have a few things to get through in this month's episode, but right now, here is the winner of the first Myth Busting Monthly six-pack giveaway. If this is you, please join my Discord and put your gamer tag with correct spelling in the gamer tag drop section, and then ping me, and I'll give you details as to how you can expect your Obsidian six-pack over there. Again, if you guys are interested in getting your hands on an Obsidian six-pack, put directly into your account please comment down below, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and it'll be drawn at the start of next month's video. Good luck to you if you are entering the six pack giveaway, and please comment below the myths you want to see tested in this series for next month. So Lego Ducky Faye says, like the video, next time please compare glowing ship hulls to normal ship hulls and test if they can be spotted from a large distance. Now, I did do this, and I've also done this many times throughout my Sea of Thieves career, and honestly the distance between the glowing and the non-glowing hulls don't make a difference on most situations. Unless you are a galleon and it is pitch black, you're not going to notice any different depending on what hull you have. Although, the sails do make a huge difference. There are a wide variety of glowy sails that can be spotted from across the map. So, if you are looking to go undercover, don't worry too much about the hulls, the sails will be the ones that'll be the difference between being spotted and being incognito. You guys can test this for yourself, but essentially, the hulls do make absolutely no difference unless it's under really specific circumstances. Keeping that short and simple, hulls don't make a difference, moving on to the next myth. So, Jorm asks, Myth, can pets steal damage to ships while being shot? from a cannon. Now this was a fun one to test. We did test this with the dog and the monkey. The same result was recorded with both of the pets that we shot out of the cannon, and it seemed no matter where we hit the boat, they'd always just phase through the actual ship itself, and they wouldn't actually do any damage. On the off chance that it didn't phase through the boat, it would actually bounce off, then go directly back into the water, and get teleported back into the owner's hands. We tried this with many ships, but honestly, it's not possible to do any sort of damage at all to a boat with a pet. This also doesn't do any damage to a player or any sort of entity either, it just phases through them or bounces off and gets teleported back into the owner's boat. This also ties back into a myth suggested by a spouse lint, I believe, and they wanted to know if a pet could land on someone's boat when shot out of a cannon. Again, same thing, just bounces off or phases through. Technically, it probably could land on a boat, but it will instantly bounce off and then get teleported back into the owner's hands. I don't know if that counts, but to me it does. Right, last myth for this month, and this one was my favorite one. This one comes from Vanessa, and they want to know, can you kill a keg skeleton using a sword? Can't wait to see what's next for this series. So this was really fun, and I had to call my sword lord friend, who is an absolute god at doing this, Vimyonk, to help me out. Now, the short answer is yes, you totally can, but I'm just going to let him tell you exactly how you do it right here. So you basically just sword dash straight at the floor, aim for the feet, and can go straight for the middle as well, and perfect. <laughs> Hell yeah. So that is it for this month. Thank you guys for suggesting all the myths today. I did enjoy doing them. Also, there is another six pack giveaway going on in this video. Post your myths and comments down below for a chance to win. I'll catch you guys next month for more myth busting. And I'll speak to you really soon. Have a good time and I'll see you later.